All right, on this one, this is a um, another preventive maintenance, but because of the temperatures, I'm having to run it in cool. This is a 410 system, and I hope you can see that pressure right there is below freezing. So I'm going to try to get my eyes on that coil. Honestly, I think the thing is low on the Freon. <laughs> and I probably need to do a leak search. This being a train, if that evaporator coil is leaking, huh, it's going to cost a lot of money. But, um, yeah, sometimes on the preventive maintenance is you find problems. And I just did. Right now. If I just get near it, the thing starts going off. But that's on high. See my power wire run through here? It is really hot out here. I got this umbrella up, but uh, it ain't doing me no good right now. That went pretty high. When it finds one, it sounds off, don't it? Hmm. This is gonna require a little bit of additional work because of these, another power wire up here. These power wires and this thermostat wire. This one's going through a Romex connector. And the one up top is not. That might be my my coil number right there. I don't really need to see anymore. As you can see, the coil is clean. I'm going to have to pull all these wires out and I think get these wires out and unscrew everything. I think I'll be able to just tilt it over and pull it out. Don't look too difficult.
All right, this is my modeling serial. You can see right here is this is a 2014 unit. If um this was not registered, that's not going to be under warranty. So I'm fixing to call and find out.